beautiful April in Greece. It's like <laughs> heaven on earth. Let me show you around. We're gonna barbecue tomorrow. Uh, our olive trees. Okay, and some other trees uh, we have here, pine trees and stuff. The grapes, it's coming, start coming up. But, come on, Wolf. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, baby. Hi, boy. Let's go. What's going on is we have a 30 years anniversary. Yes, this is the Beamer. Have a 30 years. I have restored this bike a couple of years back. I started and it took seven months. Yes, it's a playlist on YouTube. You can go see it. So, this is a real motorcycle, okay? Um, this is like a 93 a special edition fat boy. Classic. Uh, let's take a look at it. Very dirty. Give it a mark. <laughs> She's been through a complete restoration. Okay. Um, check it out. You know, some of you probably know it's like mixed feelings. But, uh, okay, so the story was that, uh, come on, Ella, come on, hey, baby. Come on. Bravo. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the story was, take this off. that uh, was back in 94, all right? The bike is 93, 30 years old, as I told you before. We've been together 29 years. About that time, our modems was like uh, 288, the internet connection I'm talking about, uh, or 56K, something like that. I. I took a ride on a fat boy. I used to have a sports car about the time, a 1200. And I took a ride on a fat boy and I got hooked. I'm like, this is the bike for me. Like, I love it. I took a ride on it because a friend of mine has a, a, a workshop with Harleys and uh, my sister was coming from Greece. I'm like, I better take a bike with a big seat so I can put her on. No, she's not that heavy and uh, we'd be more comfortable. And I got hooked and I started looking for a fat boy. So I was calling people, I took newspapers, I was looking on the internet and I found this ad. The picture was like, took so much time to download and the bike looked gray. But that was close to me, that was in New Jersey, okay? The other bikes I found was like in Pennsylvania and Florida and all over the place. Remember, I was in New York. And um, I called the guy up. The guy's uh, name was John, a gentleman, an older gentleman about the time. He was 76 years old, and I'm like, uh, can I take a look at the bike? Um, you know, I, can't, I wanted to come to take a look at the bike. Uh, the bike was worth 1,000 miles. He was advertising 1,000 miles. So I went there. I have a video about that. I'm going to put it so you can see it. I took the, my camera with me so I can record the bike. When I first saw the bike, I'm like... <laughs> I'm gonna buy this bike, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do in this life? We have to have toys. Exactly, exactly. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> she always referred to my bike as my mistress. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, I guess this is enough. I have like a thousand bucks with me and uh, I'm going to give him a deposit. 
The guy goes like, I mean, I ask him, why are you selling the bike with 1,000 miles on it? I mean, the, the Evo motor, you need 5,000 miles to break in, okay? And he goes like, it's too heavy for me, I can't ride anymore. He, is, he was 76 years old. And uh, I took him for a ride and I'm like, John, take a thousand yeah, deposit and I come by on the weekend, I come back for the money. And uh, I couldn't sleep that night. Um, I called him on the mo in the morning, I'm like, uh, can I pick her up today? Because can you pick me up from the, from the train station? Uh, I was in Queens, I have my office in Queens about the time. So I have to take, uh, actually I took, he goes, yes, I can pick you up, no problem. And uh, I took the, uh, I went to the bank, I picked up the rest of the money, I went to with the subway uh, to take the M truck to New Jersey, the train, he picked me up with a very nice Mercedes, uh, convertible, and, and an old one, very nice. Went to his house, the bike was there, he took it off from the garage, I took it off from the garage, I gave him the money, I set his hand, and I took her home. That was the happiest day in my life. I mean, <laughs> one of the happiest, okay. And we've been together since late 94, that's 29 years. This is a 30 years old bike. And, uh, you know, I have the bike in New York. We've been, you know, going around trips and stuff like that. And uh, I have never seen a color like that. So that surprised me. I started looking on the internet uh, back in the late 90s and I couldn't find it, another one like that. All right. So I sent a fax to Harley Davidson and uh, they sent me a fax back after a month that this is limited and they made only 20 bikes with that particular color and the logo. You're not gonna find it easy, that particular logo, to give you to give you a copy of that, you they have to ask you for your registration. Make sure you are an owner to get a logo like that. I used to go to Harley Davidson uh, in Queens Boulevard, New York, and they have a, a book like that with all kind of stickers and logos that you can buy. On the front page was that particular logo, all right? And that's how I find out that to get that logo, that was the only logo was not for sale on that book. And that book was like this thick. And they told me that you gotta have, you have to be an owner of that particular uh, bike to have to, to for Harley Davidson to give you a logo like that. And you gotta have a registration proof. Okay, so let's see if we can find this logo today. Okay, today day. So I put on Google, uh, as you can see, uh, Harley Davidson uh, Fat Boy 1993 Emblem. Uh, you can search with logo too, and uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, I don't see it now. Let's go down the page. Nothing. Just regular Fat Boy logos. Even today, that's like this is like April 2023. I don't see the logo anywhere. Um, if you guys uh, can find it, um, I appreciate if you just put a comment, give me a link or something. Because even today, I cannot find this logo, probably special order from, uh, from the factory, from Harley Davidson. That's the story about that time. <coughs> so. And, um, you know, it's been uh, years and years and years together. Then one day, uh, I was raining for like two weeks, I remember in New York. And uh, well, I was with a friend of mine, Costa, Gaz, and talking about Greece. And I am like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to send the bike tomorrow to Greece because I have another bike there. I have a, a Sportster 1200. And he, he goes like, are you crazy? I'm like, yes, I know I'm crazy. So I s went to Harley Davidson Boulevard the day after and I told Big Bob, the mechanic, Bobby, take a sip box of beer and pack my bike and tell me how much I own you. He goes like, why? I'm going to send it to Greece. He goes, are you crazy? I'm like, I know. So he did pack my bike, didn't even charge me. And uh, let's put it in a box that they, they have the new bikes coming up. 
and I sent a shipper to Greece with Ikaros Transport. I remember Dean, a friend of mine, that we used to do transport business together. And uh, after a month, I took the plane, I went to Greece, and I took the bike for that particular ride, the coastline, through the Athens Riviera, going to Sunion Cape, where the Temple of Poseidon is there. I'm going to put a link up right so you can click and see a ride like that with a, with a hog that we, be, we have done recently. And after that, uh, the restoration of bug two years ago got on me because I found a lot of problems on the motorcycle. I was leaking from everywhere. So I restored the bike. It took me seven months to, and I have done a complete restoration. You're looking, right now, you're looking at a brand new motorcycle. Okay, a 30 years old new motorcycle. Everything is new on the bike, all restored. I have put new parts, I have restored the muffler, the engine, this, 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 the seat, uh, everything, all right? If you want to see the restoration videos, yes, they're online. I have a playlist. You can click the top right and you can see it. And that's the first, the story. This is the story how I got this bike. We've been together for so long. <laughs> It's not even funny, you know, 29 years. I tried to sell the bike, you know, a couple of times and I couldn't because it's, we've been attached. It's like, it's like part of me. Rose loves the bike too. I'm like, she's like, don't sell the bike. I want to get a bugger. Um, we put the saddle bags last year. Uh, that's the uh, Hepco and Becker. And uh, we already took her on a couple of trips, yes. So let me tell you about what a Harley Davidson like that is, okay? I was actually I was like uh, looking for a bugger uh, on the same era, that means like an Evo. These engines, then I can personally, I'm a mechanic, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm an engineer, not a mechanic, but I can work on the bike. I did the whole restoration myself, yes. It's easy to work on, very reliable. This is like, uh, for me personally, this is the most reliable Harley Davidson engine ever exist, including the new ones. You just, uh, it takes me like not even 10 minutes to take the carburetor out and clean it. You know, that's how simple this particular motorcycle is. All right, all of the electrical is up here. I have put a relay, yes, it has a USB, it has some stuff, I put the GPS on. It has some extra there, I have, uh, 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 cigarette light plug inside the bag so we can charge cell phones and stuff. You don't see them, but they are there, all right? Uh, we have the original passing lights. Um, let me tell you what's extra on the motorcycle. The Python pipes, you see here, this is original. I restored them two years ago. This one's here, Python, all right? Uh, the crossbars, original. Uh, the the, uh, the the beach bar, then I have here the drug bar. Okay, I have put it up like about, uh, I don't know, I can't remember, like uh, 96, 97. It's been on the bike since then. I have replaced the mirrors. This is all the nest grips. <coughs> They've been on the bike forever. I'm just telling you what I have put on the bikes years ago. This is not a cover, this is massive. The whole thing. All right, I have restored the master cylinder. Okay, new. We have cleaned up everything and it has a new clear coat on it, on all of them. I have, we have done the whole job. The, you look how clean the electrical is. You see that? Go back on the restoration so you can see that. This has been on the bike forever, the toolbox. Okay? I have a chrome rear wheel and a polished front wheel. Okay? The Illuminator Edition, this one, this one, I used to have the mirrors too, but they got so rusty that I threw away, all right? And I'm just giving you an idea of what's going on with the motorcycle all these years. I mean, you're talking about, you're talking about 30 years motorcycle, okay? <laughs> Not three. Listen to the number again, 30. It's been with me 29 years. And look how it looks good. All right, let's go to the other side. Okay, chrome pulley. I replaced the old one. Okay. So let me tell you what I have fixed on the bike. All right. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to put a list of everything I remember. Yes, I have a logbook for the motorcycle. What I have done. And um, I have changed the pulley. Um, let's go from the top, okay? I have changed the throttle and uh, the clutch cable with uh, high pressure ones, these ones. And I never bothered since then. They've been over on the bike for over 20 years, all right? I have rebuilt the master cylinder and the master cylinder on the top, both of them. I have rebuilt both calibers on the restoration. I have rebuilt the carburetor twice. I have replaced the regulator three times on the front. The one time is because it overheat. I put a, a chrome cover on it and it overheat. All right. Um, I have changed a wash and uh, from the starter, there was a leak. As I remember like about 15 years ago and uh, uh, we replaced that and we fixed it in a Harley Davidson. All right, this is the original manual. Look the notes here, okay? Yes, I've been working on the bike forever. I do my own, 80% do my own repairs. It's been on a, on, a, on, a, on a Harley Davidson mechanic only like about not even five times. So, um, twice I have electrical problems and uh, we replaced the, uh, the rotor on the, on the left side, on the other side. I have put a chrome front end. It's the same original fat boy. Um, the beach bars, I mean, it, it, the reason I'm trying to think is what other problems I have on the motorcycle and they don't exist. In this is what happens on, uh, on a bike that is 30 years old. I mean, it's not really a big deal, you know? Everything still works. So we have the leaks, of course, on the Evo. Uh, the bike started leaking from the bottom rear for 15 years, just a little drop. I didn't even bother, I just left it there, all right? Then it started leaking on the front too. Um, and two years ago, I got sick and tired of the leaks. It started leaking from the top, from the top rear and everything. I took everything out, I put new gaskets, James gaskets everywhere. Um, you should go see the restoration because I can't even talk about the engine. It was a lot of work. The engine is brand new today, okay? Uh, we clean up the pistons, we put new rings, we put this and that. It's like the valves, we clean up the, all the carbon deposits. We change um, uh, uh, the muffler gaskets. It's, it, it's a whole list, like I can keep talking about it for, for an hour. So... And uh, the, the, two, the two fenders in the guest tank went to a body shop, friend of mine, and he just, you know, refreshed the paint, uh, clear coats and everything, and still needs a little, uh, little bit more work. This is nothing. I have, I have done more work on the Beamer, and I have the Beamer for like four years we have it. And we have already did, uh, I have done, a, the, yes, there's a lot of videos online, you can see the Beamer garage that I have on the playlist. I have, I have put more work on the Beamer than I have, uh, we have it for, for years. All right. So usually when I store it, I took the battery out, the plug, I just put it back. Okay. Um, all the electrical, they have a relay because it has some extra on it, like a USB right there. It has some extra lights on the back, LED lights for emergency. You just don't see them. It has like a secret switch here and everything. So when I store the bike, even for a week, I take the, always I take the battery out, the positive, all right? Check this out. All right, this is the secret switch for the re for the all to work, you know, the, all the electrical 
uh, this gives power to a relay all right this is for the air pump we have our uh, have uh, pulled the choke out all the way out we have power our gasoline it's closed sorry one more time choke Okay, so here are some pictures from uh, back in the 90s in uh, New York. Here is some uh, hot rod event. Uh, this picture here is from the uh, New York City uh, Harley Owners Group uh, Bikers Against Bre Breast Cancer run that we uh, used to do every year. On this particular event, I remember because like around 4,000 bikes, we have like a police escort up front and in the rear fire trucks and ambulance and, uh, you know, and everybody was there uh, back, in the, back in the day, what we say today. All right, so let's take it for a ride. So there is a couple of things I have to put on. Yes, all right, but uh, check it out. Ah, yeah.